is the consumer's perception of a, war a warranty provided by a dealer on a used car. What do they really think? Well, yeah, what do they really think? They think it's a hoax, bullshit. They think it's a hoax, they think it's bullshit, and we could run through about 25 other negative terms. Now, why, Patrick, why do, they, why do they have such a negative impression? of used car warranties provided by dealers? Well, from the past records, you have warranties that say they cover something and they won't because of, uh, you know, they messed up and they didn't rotate really the tires at 3,000 miles. They did it at 4,000, whatever the case. They come up with excuses 90% of the time. Unless it's a factory certified vehicle and, this, and the warranty is coming from the factory, they think it's pretty much crap. Right. Okay? Now, um, so that, 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 that makes it incumbent upon us to make sure the customer understands the quality of this warranty. Where is this warranty good? Anywhere in the United States. And Canada. And Canada. Okay. It's good at any service facility that employs certified technicians. Obviously, all car dealerships would qualify. <laughs> and most decent service centers will qualify. Okay. How does the customer file a claim? Do they have to pay for the claim, then file for reimbursement? How's all that work? Pay $100 a deductible. Okay, where does the service facility get the money, rest of the money from? Well, they're gonna have to call the... Uh, well, for, well, let me ask this question. Is, if I go to, uh, if I come to this dealership, tell them I've got a warranty and give them $100, are they gonna let, <laughs> are they gonna give me my car? But no. No, no. We pay the service facilities directly with a credit card. So the customer only has to come out of pocket with a hundred bucks, okay? Now, um, let me give you some examples of warranties that are provided to consumers by dealers on used cars that aren't factory certified. Internally lubricated parts of the engine only. Internally lubricated parts of the drivetrain only. Seals? No. Gaskets? No. Taxes? No. Fluids? No. Um, term? One month, 1,000 miles. Two months, 2,000 miles. Three months, 3,000 miles. And here's the kicker. The deductible is often 50%. So if I've got a $4,000 engine repair, how much do I owe as a customer? Two. Two grand plus taxes and fluids. So it's actually going to be over two grand. How happy am I going to be as a consumer? Mm. Not happy at all. A lot of the warranties provided by dealers, the warranty is only good where? At that dealership. So it's important to let the customer know this warranty is good. I could say, well, it is international. If it's good in the U.S. and Canada, it makes it good internationally. Now, it's not good in Ukraine or Mexico, but Canada and the U.S., yes. Um, what's covered? Everything listed on that little sheet. Okay. Are seals and gaskets covered? Yes. yes. Are taxes and fluids covered? Yep. Is the uh, drivetrain covered? Yep. Yes. How about the air conditioner? Yep. Yes. How about the heating system? Yep. Yes. Cooling system? Yep. yep. Steering That's system? Cool. Yep. Yep. Brake, yep. Braking system? Mm -hmm. Front suspension? Correct. Rear suspension? Yep. Yes. Electrical system? Yep. Yes. High tech convenience option? Yes. Yep. Power seat motor? Yes. Yes. Navigation. Right. No, it's not. No. Part of the high tech convenience package. Yeah, it says high tech convenience, but navigation is not part of it. Okay. The official name for it is a stated component warranty, which means everything that's listed on the policy is covered, with exceptions. Um, what's the terminology, Jack? It's been so long since I've been in the service. Pre existing. Time. Not pre existing. Uh, Consequential damage. Yeah. Okay. If something covered causes something not covered to break, we will cover that not covered part as well. Correct. So if the caliper goes up in the room pad, you'll replace the pad. If the caliper's covered. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. 